Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on finding the area of rectilinear shapes by counting squares. And this posh word rectilinear here, all that means is just a shape has right angles only. And the right angle is 90 degrees. So if you look in this shape, we can see we have hard corners. They're all 90 degrees. Now the area of something, of a shape, just means how much space on a flat surface it takes up. And by flat surface, I just mean something that's two dimensional, so flat. So we have 2D shapes like squares and rectangles. And 3D shapes is when you have things like uh, spheres and cones and cuboids, etc. So we want to work out how much space something takes up. Now one way we could work out how much space this takes up is to just count the squares. Now we're told that this is a unit grid and all that's meant by a unit grid is that each square represents one unit. And we're not told what that unit is. It could be a unit of centimetres, it could be a unit of metres. It doesn't matter, so we're just going to say it's one unit. So let's get this measure of area, how much space it takes up, by just counting the squares. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten unit squares. So the answer is ten. And if you want to put the unit, you write units squared like that. So unit squared is the unit for area. If you were told, for example, that each square represented one centimetre, then the answer would be 10 centimetres squared. So when you have a unit for area, you need to put this little squared here, this little two, to say that it's a unit of area and not of length.